hello Taurus viewers. I'm going to be taking a look into your situation. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Be past, present, a uh, future person coming in. Could be an ex, could be a current partner, just whatever the situation plays out. So let's see what's going on right now. Right, so for Taurus viewers. You know, I think the last reading I did for the Taurus viewers, I think I got a secret admirer who was kind of shy and secure. He wanted to come, he or she wanted to come talk to you, but there was just this hesitation there. They were kind of just testing the waters and they weren't quite sure how to come forward. So let's see what's going on with that now. Like nine is a relevant number to somebody. I don't know. Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Wands. That's a really good match. Moon. See, I feel like you do, you might have two different potential partners here Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you have an ex, but it's not really, I don't feel like it's going anywhere with their, your ex. I just feel like they're kind of in your energy field. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not, I think you're kind of over that story. I think you're over that situation, but they're still sort of in your energy field and they're kind of, they take you for granted, but then they like pout when they don't have you. Um, I think the King of Cups here is a better option for you. And the King of Cups with the Queen of Wands, it's actually a pretty good um, match right there. You know, the King of Cups is a man who's emotional. He's he's emotionally available. He's vulnerable. He's open. He's empathetic. He's He's got this soft side that he's not afraid to show you. And with the Queen of Wands here, it's like you're you're passionate and you're powerful and you're 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 emotional too and just in different ways and the the way the way that you're emotional and the way he's emotional it's like you guys it's kind of it, it complements each other um you have this other king of wands here which is i think your ex but again it doesn't feel like a good energy it feels like look at him he's like sulking he's pouting it's like he knows he's he knows he's losing you but it's like he doesn't want to like step up and claim you he doesn't want to make this commitment. So it's like, yeah, he's afraid he's losing you, but he's not afraid enough to do something about it. Um, it's like the King of Wands, it's, he is passionate, but I'm being intuitively led to read this card. You know, I, I look at the characters in the cards. I don't just look at the, the suite. I actually look at the characters and their facial expressions and kind of go off of that energy as well. And in this card, I see somebody who's like sulking and pouting. Look, he's looking away. It's like they're both looking forward. Like she's she's about to, she either has or she's about to finally manifest her true match, her true love. And this one that took her for granted knows it. And he's just kind of like, he'd rather pout and sulk than, than win her back, you know? I think maybe you've been trying to play harder to get with him lately, or maybe you, I don't know, there's just this, some kind of disconnect where you're just tired of this person. You're just, you might have love for them. I'm not saying you don't, but you're tired of this, this story over and over again. You're tired of the same shit with this person and you're manifesting your, your true love, your match. Somebody who's not going to pout and sulk and run off like a little boy, but somebody who's actually going to be emotionally available and open with you. With the Four of Swords and Seven of Swords here, I feel like there's a lot of pain that you went through in the past with this King of Wands. It's kind of like, with the Four of Swords, it's like this loneliness and isolation isolation and impatience and this just this pain. And you're just kind of exhausted of waiting for them. And with the Seven of Swords, look at her. She's like, she's throwing her hands up. She's running away. 
or he's running away or he ran away and then it made her run away she's like fuck it run i don't care i'm not chasing you this time um i always see this card i mean i know the seven of swords is traditionally it's it's dishonesty and escape and running away from your problems but i almost i always look at her i always look at this character as somebody who's like just putting her arms up and she's like screw it i can't take anymore i'm done come at me you know it's like she's running away in a way that she's just like screw everything i'm done with this like she's she's upset she's hurt she's she's tired of this like i said she's tired of the situation with this king of wands she doesn't want to do it with him anymore she wants her ideal match you know and it's not if you've been going around in circles with this person for a while i don't think it's going to get better i think it's going to be the same shit and i think you know that i think that I don't think you're 100% over it, but I think that you're mostly over it. Like, you're starting to get over it. You're just start. You're sick of it. You're sick of that story. You know what I mean? Like, even though there was love there in the past, there's this person betrayed you and hurt you so much that those bad memories are starting to cloud and block you from remembering those good memories, which is good because, you know, they keep doing the same stupid shit, and you don't, you don't want that. This person is very immature. They're very childish. They're very emotionally unstable. They're very emotionally unavailable they're very um they have this very bipolar energy where they can't commit they can't figure out what they want they can't figure out who they are they're they're not going to put you first like they're just they're, then you know that you know you know th if this is your story then you know that about this person already you know this is somebody that's not ever going to put you first you know this is somebody that's never going to really appreciate you and love you and be your match you know like you you know that already if this is your story, that is. If this is your story, then you then you know who this person is. You, you know what that energy is already. You know that you're sick of that. It's like he wanted this new foundation. You wanted this beginning with this person. But look at her. She's all bloody. Like, she's all, like, she's not herself. She's not, she wasn't happy. Like, he or she was not happy in that situation, you know? Like, you weren't yourself. You had to be serious. You had to play games. You had to put your guard up. You you were left broken and bloody from that situation, and you don't want that anymore. Um, so let's... Uh, let's get, you, you already know all that, so let's, get, let's focus on this King of Cups, because this is a much better energy. This is somebody who's sweet and empathetic and loving, and this is somebody that's in your energy field. So you might have just met them, or you might be about to meet them in the near future, but it's this energy that's around you. I think you're using your intuition to figure this out, too. You're kind of intuitively, you know what you want, and you're looking at the Six of Pentacles. So your finances, you might be leveling up when it comes to, like, finances or career. I also feel like this King of Cups is going to be more financially stable than this other energy was. I think that he's, this is more of a man here. This is a little boy. This is a man that you've got here that you're manifesting. And, or, or woman, you know, however, it, this could, again, this could be woman, woman, this could be man, man, it could be man, woman, it's however it resonates with you, so don't get caught up on the words, this could be your, your divine feminine here instead of divine masculine, so it's however it resonates for you, um, just, you know, I, I say masculine a lot, but again, it's just, just don't get caught up on the words, it's whatever your story is, you'll know which, which person you are, um, however it resonates with you but but anyway so the moon here yeah this is this is intuition and mystery but this you know you see her she's looking at the six of pentacles so she's kind of more focused on abundance and wealth and i think that this king of cups i want to look into this more and see what this um king of cups is all about let's see what kind of energy we can get from him So let's see what else we can get here. Remember, there's someone that's kind of shy and sweet. I think that was the energy I was getting before with this reading. It's somebody who's sort of, yeah, they're very, they're shy, they're empathetic, they're sweet. They might be reserved, but not in a bad way. It's more like a shyness where they're just, they're kind of intelligent. They have, they have an old soul. They're very wise. They kind of just watch you and observe and they, um, how do I explain that? It's like they have a lot of life experience, I feel, but but they're still shy. They're not like the life of the party type. At least I don't feel like they are. They could be for some of you, but I think for most of you, no, they're not. I feel like they're they're more like the shy, reserved, sweet type. But they're very emotional. They're very they have a lot of emotional depth. 
they're very strong and they're very independent. They're just a much more stable person than the ex that you were dealing with. So let's see what kind of energy we can get here. All right, so tell me about this King of Cups. So you're the Queen of Wands. They're the King of Cups. It's good. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this situation. Tell me what we need to know here about this. Five of Cups, Two of Wands, oh. Five of Cups, Two of Wands, Six of Swords. You know, you guys might be in similar energy, actually. It's kind of interesting. You guys might almost be mirroring each other, I feel like. Because see, with the Five of Cups here, you see this, this mermaid. This is you. This is... Oh, sorry. Let me organize these for you so you can actually see them. Okay. With the Five of Cups here, it's like, look at her. She's watching her ship sail away. But she's not chasing it, even though it, it, see the ship in the background right there? She's not really chasing the ship anymore, though. It's, that's your ex, you know? You're not chasing that anymore. You're not running after that. It still hurts a little bit. You're still disappointed and sad that you put all that energy and time into this. Um, and there is this, this feeling of nostalgia and disappointment. But at the same time, I think you're so sick of this story and just being taken for granted and being hurt over and over and over again. You're so sick of the same routine and the same crap that I think you're willing to let it go even though it hurts. You know what I mean? You're ready to start this next chapter of your life. And I almost wonder because I sense, damn it, from this man or this woman that you're manifesting now that's come into your life. I see you guys at a party. Like, I don't know if you met them at a party or if you're going to meet them at a party, but it's almost, or it could just be a metaphor for their personality because I was trying to channel their personality so I could give you guys some more details. And I just saw them, like, at a party holding a drink in their hand. And it's like they try to talk to you, but they're very, like, mellow and they're very shy and sweet. They're not very loud. They're not, like, hanging out with the other guys and partying. They're just kind of. They're kind of like the wallflower that's just kind of like observing everybody, you know? They're not really saying too much. Um, they're just kind of feeling things out. So, I, again, it might, not, it might not actually be a party. It might just be like a metaphor, like a representation to let you guys know what kind of personality uh, this this king of cups that you're manifesting has. So, so, yeah, very sweet, very loyal, very loving, very empathetic. Um, a little shy and reserved and damaged. Probably takes a while. He probably likes to take things slow. Probably has some uh, trust issues. I feel like he's damaged. He's been through a lot in the past. But he feels very mature and wise. He feels like a very old soul and very stable. So even though he is really damaged, I feel like he handles, he handles it in a really good way. He doesn't just project it onto other people. I feel like he... He just likes to take things slow and gets to, gets to, gets to know people and... and um, you know, just develop develops trust naturally and at a kind of slow pace. He just, he doesn't feel bitter though, you know what I mean? Like despite all the damage, he really doesn't feel bitter. And I almost feel like you guys are mirroring each other, which is what I was going to say. I almost feel like maybe you're both kind of letting go of exes right now. Because I feel like when you guys, for some of you, you just met recently... Or maybe you met them a while ago and they're about to come back into your life. This could be someone from the past that's been kind of noticing you and observing you. Maybe, maybe stalking your social media and they're going to finally reach out. Um, this could also be someone new that you just met. This could be someone new that you're about to meet. Somebody that's in your energy field and they're coming in. I do feel like you guys are mirroring each other a lot though. I feel like there's a strong telepathic connect connection here. I kind of get the sense that you guys mirror each other in the sense that you're both 
you both were or you both currently are letting go of exes and past damage at the same time. You're both in this healing process right now of letting go of the, the past, of the things that are holding you back. And I feel like you guys are actually going to help each other heal. I feel like you guys are really going to connect and you're going to have this understanding to be patient and gentle and vulnerable with each other because of what you've both been through. Um, you know what I mean? Like I think when you talk about you know, your life and your experiences, they're going to resonate and relate to that. And they've been through similar, so they're going to get it. They're going to understand, you know, both of you, I feel like, will be kind of on the same page with wanting to take things slow and ease into things and, and get to know each other on a deeper level. Um, but I just, I feel like you both are just going to have so much empathy with each other. You're both, you've both been through such similar things in the past and your exes are so similar that I really feel like you guys are just going to have so much empathy for each other. With, let's see. Yeah, with the two of wands here, I almost feel like, you notice this character is looking at a skull. She's looking at something that's dead. That's how I always see that. I know that the two of wands traditionally, it's, you know, it's making plans. It's, it's you know, you, you have two options. It's, it's you know looking at the long term and I feel like with this ex you were looking at the long term you were thinking that was the right person for you you were trying to you were the one reaching out first you were the one trying to make plans to hang out you were the one trying to make this happen you were trying to take control and it just kind of backfired it didn't really go well for you in the end and I think you're realizing now that you're looking at something that's dead, you know? And again, I don't think, if this is your story, I don't think this is going to hurt you, me telling you this. I don't think it's going to hurt you too much. It might hurt a little bit. It's like, that sucks. But it's more like frustration at this point. It's like there's some pain, but you're just like, I'm just so, you're just so, your trust is so broken with this ex. You're so, you're just so like, I'm over the story. I want a new story finally. I want a new energy, new love finally. Like, I want to move on from this finally. So, again, I think there's some pain, but I think that you're wanting to let go of it now, even though the pain is still there to some degree. So, so yeah, you know, this two of wands. And then we have the six of swords, which is starting a new life, looking forward, leaving that thing that's dead in the past, leaving that, leaving the past in the past and looking forward. And with the four of cups, that's, you know, it's boredom, it's, it can be, I always see it as it can be pain, it's like she's kind of just dull, like life has just gotten boring, could be, um, it's like a dissatisfaction with life, it's like you're not really, you're kind of like numb, just not motivated that much, but, you know, you might want to take some time alone to just kind of, to, to process this, to process this ending, to process, you know, and I think you are doing that right now. I think you are processing this. I think you are realizing that you're bored and, you know, this isn't making you happy. This isn't motivating you anymore. You want more. And with the Three of Swords in reverse, it's almost like Three of Swords is heartbreak. Upright, it's like it's heartbreak. It's despair. It's this, this deep pain. But with it being in reverse in this particular spread, I feel like it's kind of saying it's like the heartbreak is over. Like, you've been heartbroken so many times by this person. Like, you have, you've got mo no more tears left to cry. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you can't cry over this person anymore. You're just so done. You're so numb. You're so frustrated. You're so sick of it. You're so ready for this new chapter of your life. Um, and again, this new person that you're, man that you've, you know, recently manifested or that you're about to manifest this person is in your energy field so if you haven't met them already i do feel like you probably will soon or again it could be somebody that's watching you on social media that you met in the past and maybe was just too shy to come forward but now they're consider maybe they're noticing you more maybe you're just recently single and you weren't before or you just something about you was unavailable and now they're kind of noticing that maybe you're more open than you were in the past um, but again, they're going to, with the temperance card here, it's like you both are going to want to have this balance and you're going to want to take things slow and really get to know each other. And you're going to have a lot of empathy for each other. So it's a really beautiful connection that you have coming in. Do not, you know, I would rec I would just say, do not ruin that for the ex. Do not throw that away for the ex. Um, you know, with the fool here, you have this, it's like this beautiful creative 
fresh, youthful energy, this new start, this new love that you have with this person that's coming in, with your King of Cups that's coming in, or your Queen of Wands, however it plays out for you. But I would just say do not do not sabotage that. Do not throw that away for the ex because it's going to be the same shit with the ex. It really is. I know that you, you believe for a long time that he or she could change and that maybe they would change for you. But the reality is I think you know that they take you for granted. You know that they're childish. You know that they're immature. You know that they're emotionally unavailable. You know that they will probably never figure out what they want. They will probably never commit fully to anything in their life. They just, they cannot commit. And, you know, this King of Cups that's either come in or about to come in, he's, he, this is a strong person. This is a stable person. This is emotionally available person. This is a, an old soul. This is a caring, loving, loyal, empathetic person. This is an amazing person. You know, he's very, he's, he's got, he's got a very strong masculine side and feminine side. It's like this person is like the best of both worlds. They're very strong. They're very they're very shy and sweet but they're very they have a lot of life experience though you know it, they have a lot of um just emotional depth and empathy this is a really good person so do not sabotage that for the ex because i can tell you with the kind of life experience the king of cups has had if you cheat on him or you betray him in any way he's probably not going to give you another chance or if he does it's going to be it's going to take a long long time to gain his trust back because he's been through so much and he knows how to, I don't want to say he knows how to shut people out, like, because he, he is a very deep person. He's got a, he's a very emotional person. He's a very, I think he's a romantic once you get to know, he likes to take things slow, like I said, but I think that he is a romantic once you get to know him and you get to that side of him. But he's been, he's someone who kind of embraces his pain and he's been through so much pain and it's like, if you betray him, he just... He's not going to feel like he could be vulnerable with you after that. So you really want to be careful. Don't mess things up because of your ex. It's not worth it. Your ex is not worth that. He's really not. Um, let me pull some more cards just to get, see what else we can get here. Okay, any final messages? Final messages. What do we got? Oh, this is good. Okay. We got feminine energy, so you know this your your person has very feminine and very masculine energy. Like I said, they have a very good balance, this person that's coming in. And they see you as a sacred woman. They see you. They admire your beauty. They're going to admire the things about you that this other, that your ex didn't admire. They're going to love the things about you that, you know, weaker men were intimidated by. They're, they're going to step up for you more. We have this energy shift. Like I said, you're in this transition. You're going to have this breakthrough. It's intense, sudden change. So, you know, you might be meeting this person kind of quickly. It might be kind of unexpected where you go from being single to suddenly meeting somebody and you just have that soul recognition just an instant attraction um they are going to be shy like i said they're going to be kind of reserved and shy i do feel like they will try to talk to you though or they're going to want to talk to you or they might flirt or smile but again they're they're not going to be they're not like a how do i explain that energy it's like shy but it's like a cute shy it's not a bad shy if that makes sense um, it's yeah this energy this breakthrough is coming in very quickly you know you're, you're going through this pretty quick transition sacred place so you might feel at home with this person I think they're going to feel at home with you too this can also mean nostalgic memories and emotions that are connected to a specific place so there might be something specific about some place that you're going to meet this person at scrying um, spying and being spied on. So like I was saying, you know, they might be watching you on social media. They might just be, have been waiting for the right time to come in and they just weren't sure how to approach you, but they're, they're trying to now. So, so yeah, it's all very good energy. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and like, share, comment, uh, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.